On this video, we will draw a little network and give you the steps to build your first project. In our YouTube channel, you can find more specific videos about each element and action. The first thing you see when you open your OZ map is the login page. Here is the project menu. I already have some example project, but we will create a new one from the beginning. The first step is to click on the bottom here at this option. You will need to configure some information, such as the name, I will call it New York. Then you select the users that will have access to this project. Some users come automatically, they are pre-configured to have access to all projects and you can change it at the user's configurations. Also, there is an option to select a father project, if you wish. Finally, you search on the map, the center point of your project, and every time you open this one, it will start right here. So, now you have two options, save directly, and if you do that, the system will create a random area around the center point you have defined, but the second option is to draw this area. All the configurations are now settled, and if you need, you can change each of them later. After clicking save, your project will be available in the project menu. When opening my project, the insertion of elements takes place through this first blue item on the left side. The first element I'm going to insert are the poles. There are two options, you can enter one at a time in this first option or you can add multiple poles in the second item. You can set some information for them, like the type, if they have any tags in common, the color which is predefined by their type, but you can change that too. And finally, set a licensing status. I will mark them on the map and click save up here. Now I'm going to add the boxes. Like the poles, I can add them separately here in this third option or also as a group. It is possible to add them either on a pole or outside it by clicking anywhere on the map. First, I'm going to add a central splitting point. Then it will open this window asking for some information about the box, such as the type, which I'm going to set as a CSP, and remember that this information is all configurable within the system. Then I will set a name. Note that the system already indicates a default name based on the last box of this type. You can insert a box template which will be an automatic pre-configuration of internal equipment in these boxes. One level, here I will leave it as CSP, the border color, which is predefined by the box type, and the fill color, which is predefined by the implantation state. It can be still in project, implanted, and there it goes. But both colors can be modified according to any criteria that you use. I can add several boxes at once here in the fourth option, but in this case, I will add hub boxes. So in level, I select hub and configure it to each one come with a splitter inside them. So I'm going to mark them on the map and then click save. The next step is adding a central office in this icon. Its name will be C01 and it will have an implanted status. Now I can add the cables. In Ozy Map, it has always to have elements on both sides, such as boxes, central office, clients, or buildings. Whenever you don't set elements on both tips, the system will add a box at the end or beginning of it. So I'm going to draw a cable from the CO to the CSP and after from the CSP to all the hub boxes. I can hold the control key and go over the poles and it will connect the cable to the poles without having to click on them one by one. But there's also the option of not using poles and drawing the cables through points. Such as the other elements, you can put it some information to these cables when creating. The name of the cable, as you can see, already came fielded with a C and the name of the tip 1 and tip 2 that are connected. 
the type of the cable, a level, tags, the color, which is predefined by the type but you can personalize it, the status of implantation and observations. To connect these cables through all boxes that are on the way, click with the right mouse button and select the option Connect in Boxes. The system will ask a search radius to select those boxes. I will set 20 meters and it will connect automatically. Now we're gonna send signal to all the network we built it. So in the CO, we can see that it is organized by this division. One side is a list of the available equipments and the other side works as an addition menu. I'm going to add a shelf and then inside it I'm going to add the OLT that will have one slot and eight pawns. After that, I will add the ODF of 24 ports and all these configurations are changeable whenever you want. To connect it individually, I click here in this plus icon and then where I want to connect it. But I also can use the tool of multiple connections. This tool you can find on the top of the CEO. Then click on the first and the last exit of one side and then click just on the first of the other side. I am going to do the same with the cables. And voila! We have Sino passing through our CO. After the connections of the CO, I'm going to my CSP and insert a splitter, selecting this first icon on the bottom. In the boxes diagram, there are also other equipment such as fusions, connectors and switches. Then, it is possible to do the fiber connections and go to the other boxes to do the same. As you can see, the splitter I am going to add in the hub is different than the splitter I added in the CSP. Here I am going to choose a splitter type that is bond splitter. That's a type of a splitter that you can connect your customer to. Note that here the fiber is filled, that means that the signal is through the fiber. To find out which path the signal takes, I can use the lighting feature, which is located here on the top of the diagram. And finally, that's a great moment to start to add clients to this network. Here in Network Expansion, this is the client icon. I am going to fill in the information that I want and then click Save. Your first documentation is ready.